Rory in Nashville, the tornado damaged more than 1600 homes. But as News Channel 5's Hannah McDonald shows us, one key landmark became a beacon of hope in the middle of the rubble. Life has had to go on as some of life has stood still in East Nashville since March 3rd, 2020. This is the inside of the tornado right now. So I remember seeing five points and I knew when I saw those buildings in bad shape that something crazy had happened. Heartbreaking. In the morning, Chance was on full display. Some things were all out destroyed by the EF3 tornado, while others came through without a scratch. And that was something seemingly everyone went to see. It was crazy how many people were trying to get in here just to see the mural. The I Believe in Nashville mural was untouched by the tornado. The fact that it was the only thing left standing proved that we are tough here in Nashville. Tim Gerst is with the I Believe brand. We have had to believe in Nashville this past year. Um, if you're hungry, we've got tons of food. I just think that morning, none of us realized what had started here in Nashville. Since a pandemic has taxed Music City. A lot of this town from the music industry to service workers found themselves in a really tough spot. Nashville continues to push through. Second Avenue, we are seeing some people starting to, whoa. In city streets over the summer, racial unrest boiled over. Then on Christmas, a bombing. Nashville can get hit all the time in different ways, and we're still, no matter what it is, whether it's a tornado, a flood, a bombing, a, a pandemic, like our residents are gonna come together and help each other. All over town, the I Believe in Nashville message has been painted for more than a decade. But this last trip around the sun, this year may have been the first time people that call Nashville home have soaked it in. I think this idea that we believe in our own town as much as anyone else does that comes here is core. Like, if we don't believe, who's going to? In East Nashville, Hannah McDonald, News Channel 5.